As the standoffs continue, supporters in Toronto made something clear from right outside the Ontario legislature. Racist Canada, we are not going anywhere! Hundreds rallied to defend Indigenous blockades in British Columbia and Ontario. And one Mohawk supporter warned, it's a fight they won't give up. There is no way we're backing down. Absolutely no way. We will be here till the end. Even if we have to die doing it, we will die defending our rights. I know my father and the hereditary chiefs aren't budging. Hereditary chiefs from BC's Wet'suwet'en Nation met with leaders from the Kahnawake Mohawk Territory in Quebec. Well, I think it went fine, but it's not over yet. The, the stories that they're, they're to they told us were very touching. The hereditary chiefs want a halt to construction on the coastal gas pipeline that crosses their land. That dispute has spawned protests like this one at the Tyendinaga Mohawk Territory in Ontario, which has halted freight and passenger rail service. But another rail blockade south of Montreal came down peacefully Friday night as police moved in to enforce a court injunction. Earlier in the day, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said all the blockades must come down, but there is no sign that will happen. Counter-protesters agree it's time. Um, but now it's time to get back to work and we need to like, resolve this issue. Supporters who march through downtown Toronto streets say employment isn't the most important thing. Jobs are secondary. This is people's way of living. And if we need to sacrifice the jobs of a few, which are in the hands of corporate interests, then we must do so to protect the future. It is up to the governments to get it sorted out on terms that are respectful of Indigenous sovereign nations. Provincial and federal governments have asked the Wet'suwet'en for meetings. None have been scheduled so far, leaving blockades like this one up into another week. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Toronto.